Oh, let's see if autofocus works any better. What's up everybody? Maybe I was just too close. So, same day as the injector video. And uh, today is the official shop introduction. So, today I actually get to show you around. I finally have my things put away. And it's looking good. So, yeah, I'll just give you a quick, very brief rundown. I don't want to make this a long video. But this is the new laboratory. Um, there are a few other folks in here that do a few things. Um, I'm not by myself, but for the most part, yeah, I can work anywhere I need to or anywhere I want to. Um, washer is, uh, I'm going to take it apart for parts, actually. It was uh, a broken washer. Uh, but anyway, um, very briefly, I can show you some of the tools that we have here. There's a stick welder. Um, what was that, a planer? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, that's a planer. And there's a uh, nice uh, bandsaw. Small one, but it'll do the job. There's a, a better planer. Um, there's an air compressor here that we're not actually using right now. It's not even hooked up. The wires are disconnected. Uh, but it is a very good, useful um, air compressor. Here is the official 3D printer. This is a real high resolution or higher resolution 3D printer and actually I can do just about anything that I want on my 3D printer um, versus this one. This one uses light, infrared light and the pr particular fluids but it does do support and you can uh, erode the support so yeah there could be some uses where I'd really need to use this one. It does have a little bit higher um, resolution than mine does that's for sure but nonetheless for most everything I do Mine will work just fine. So, we got the popper sitting out. Um, what else do we have? There is a uh, probably a Harbor Freight uh, plasma cutter, but hey, Harbor Freight's still going to work. Plasma cutter down there. Got my air tooling down there. I put all my uh, pull out drawers over here so I'd have all my hardware that I used to have. Got the popper sitting here. Uh, my printer, I didn't know where to put it yet. Um, this is just a move around uh, workable bench I can use. Um, a couple battery chargers down there. There is a uh, a plate here and all the accessories for it for like a laser setup. So that's actually pretty sweet. Um, the magnetizer and one of the coils that go with it and the cooling system to go with it are here. There's also a, another smaller magnetizer and two more jigs for other things down there. Um, and my side of the lab, or as far as my desk is concerned, um, I just kind of set it up here. I may move it around um, but for now I like this space um, this is really just a close workbench I can do stuff on I'll do my other projects uh, you know like on these uh, of course the wire EDM machine which I used today actually I cut the uh, a test part for the scooter so I'll be uploading that video next I've been waiting to cut this part for a long time just finally figured out how to use the um, software for the g-code generation a little tricky because it's kind of I don't know. It's not. It's not the best software, but it works. Got my magnetizer. Oh, <laughs> uh, and uh, what else we got? Oh, I got my coin ring making machine. I need to do something with that. I'll probably take this whole unit apart and just keep the machine that I built. Um, some of you don't even have a clue what that is, but I'll get to that another day. I do have the uh, the, the lathe here. Um, it's actually a, a nice little lathe. It'll do the job, I think, uh, for most anything we need. Um, bigger objects might be hard. There is a four jaw chuck. Um, and then I found uh, a couple days ago while inventorying everything that we have here, I found the units that go with here so to digit digitize it, um, the digitizers, so that I can actually put a readout on this, and as well as the milling machine. The milling machine will have a readout on it when I'm done with it. I was going to ask to purchase these, but we've already got them. They just were never installed. So, I've got one for the lathe and one for the mill, so that'll be awesome. I should have all the accesses I need. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have this axis, just this one on this machine, but that's fine with me. I'll have to open these up. There might actually be everything in there. I'm not real sure. Matter of fact, there might be. That might be the long one for this. I'll have to look. There's a little uh, sand blaster, a uh, little chop saw, and my 3D printer, of course. We do have a, uh, a torch, um, 
and then the other part of the sand blaster there's a tank down here um, battery charger hidden over there really um, oh and then I got my tool grinder for the end mill and the generator um, thanks again to uh, Rod for donating that I'll still be using that sucker um, the other thing I was going to tell you oh the other tools that I need to get is a TIG welder um, really that's the most expensive thing that I think I'm, I'm needing I really do need a TIG welder for a lot of the stuff I do so that's one thing I'll get there's a nice big drill press here though bench grinder there's a vise over there so you know the generic regular tools definitely are here there's some hand tools over there um, there's a few hand tools in this cabinet just a bunch of miscellaneous hardware um, miscellaneous stuff in this cabinet and uh, also wire EDM parts and, and tools and things for it over there matter of fact I might have to go through that stuff I haven't done that yet I'm actually making an inventory of all of my things and the stuff that's here so um, yeah all of uh, pretty much all of this down here is mine all that there is mine um, starting from here over is mine and that and that row up there um, this is miscellaneous stuff that was already here um, and then uh, there's a lot of tooling for the mill and the lathe in this cabinet and some more hand tools so I got a good selection of hand tools I need to go everything every, through everything and make sure I know what I've got I uh, cleaned up the uh, scrap steel and miscellaneous stuff um, that right there is actually a sheet for the magnetizer it's a woven metal sheet it's kinda cool um, miscellaneous uh, tubes and shafts and things some of it I brought some of it was here um, and then let's see some of my stuff up here some random bits I put all of my uh, I put all of my uh, uh, motors and uh, uh, just all sorts of different stuff down here uh, my UPS is all my all my transformers. Let's see if I can get a better light on that. So all my uh, all my transformers down here. I got quite a few of them. And uh, miscellaneous stuff. All of my uh, electronics. I'm gonna move back because I can actually see this better from back here and just zoom in. Um, yeah, there's like double deep. A lot of this stuff is like double deep. But this is pretty much what I had in my basement for those of you who watched the like hour long collection video of the things that I had, I had quite a bit. Um, a lot of miscellaneous stuff. That shelf up there is my project shelf. It's got my PAP experiment and Stanley experiment and anything else I've been kind of working on over a long period of time. A few miscellaneous uh, things up there that I put up there out of the way. But yeah, ultimately that's the uh, RWG research laboratory slash quantum gravity research laboratory um, it's kinda it's kind of a unique thing um, you know a lot of people may not realize this but I uh, pretty much have free reign to kind of do the experiments that are needed that I've been trying to do look I still got lighting problems so let's see if we can keep the light out of it it'll be in the corner anyway uh, yeah, just a really unique opportunity here, and I'm just taking it to my best ability to, you know, use some of my resources that I already own, and um, if we need to buy something, I can buy something, but for the most part, I'm still trying to be extremely resourceful, because that's very important to me. If you can't build it by going to Home Depot and getting all the parts, then everyone on the planet isn't going to be able to make it, in a way. you gotta keep, you got to keep that mindset. you got to keep thinking like that. So, that's it. Peace and love. Have a good day. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time. I might do um, maybe like a weekly update or something like that, or just do when I get some progress made. Ah, I don't know. But, uh, yep, been working on the, uh, the Myers project. I got a lot to do on it. I'm going to get all my stuff back out and do some more work on it. Um, just stuff I haven't had time to do. So, that's all, folks. Have a good day. See ya.